interested this year on the women's studies. And then I got actually, as a mother, I got, uh, I was actually visitor of the Boston Children's Museum. And I saw what it did to our son. You know, he was four at that time. I saw he learned the language quicker. I saw he was connecting with kids from other countries because there were a lot of expat mothers. And I saw he was connect being connected with, you know, with the American literature because he had a lot like Clifford, the big red dog, or Arthur, or Howard, or all these things. And they had like big statues of that. And like he was able to actually climb into the stories to actually become part of it. But there was always a lot about early sciences, about there was like this huge sort of like climbing, you know, amazing uh, thing. And, you know, I mean, and like I. S I actually saw him do things. I saw him actually step over his boundaries every time we were there. Mm -hmm. And then I think, and that triggered me most, on the top floor, on the fifth floor, there's this whole outreach program. Because in America, of course, I mean, I don't know if you know about that, but um, actually homeschooling has become very, very popular there. Mm -hmm. Also because people cannot afford to go to university, because when kids go to school, they're, they're also confronted with all these products, you know, with Nike and Adidas and all these things. But if parents cannot afford that, mm -hmm. It's very difficult to actually have that pressure from your kids. And also, because not all those schools are great in America, I think when you're in private school it's fine, but when you're in public school it's more difficult. So I think a lot of parents have decided, and there have already been results of children being homeschooled who are just going to Harvard as well, because their SAT scores are just as good. So I thought, my God, it's all about...